Okay, let's look into project two, the guidelines, and see what we're doing is we're going to be studying. So notice right here, we are going to be looking at the housing prices and we're going to be looking at the housing square footage. So going back into your Excel sheet, get rid of those lines, we are going to see that the columns that we care about in this case are going to be the housing prices for one part and then the square footage for another part. It tells you to pick a region and randomly select 100 values. Okay, so that's this piece right here. Randomly select 100 observations. Well, what are we going to do with this? We're going to compare this to the national market average. So if you scroll back down here, you go to the national statistics and graphs, you will see, I'm going to write some of these values down where I'm getting from. So the first hypothesis test is based on the listing price. So this is going to be your population parameter. In other words, I'm going to look at a null hypothesis that my mean equals this 288407. And then in your reading, you have to figure out how do you know if you're going to use um, one tail, two tail, and all that good stuff for the, for the other part. Um, the second one is the median square footage. So I'm looking here and I'm looking at this mean as well. So this would be the second population parameter. Remember the population parameter. So a parameter is like the mean in this case for both of these. And this is what we're going to be testing against. All right, so let's go back here and look at what they're asking us to do. So we're being told that we want to see if housing prices in your regional market are higher. That should help you with your claim setting up your alternative. So this is going to be a hypothesis test. They pretty much already tell you higher, of course, is going to be a one tilt test. So you know that's going to be a greater than. So you're going to go through all the different steps for your hypothesis. Now, when you read through here, just be careful, um, you know, one, that you've grabbed some random samples from a particular region, okay, and describe what you actually took from the sample, and then looking at the type of test, once again, the population parameter, I just give you, those are the national market statistics. Describe your hypothesis in your own words, that means don't just say the null is, just actually state what are you trying to test, all right? Describe the inference test you will use in this case, and they even kind of go lead you through it down here, that you're going to use a t-test. I don't know why she keeps talking, but she won't stop talking. <laughs> my Google Home. All right, so anyway, since I was so rudely interrupted by Google Home, is you're going to go through and you're going to do this first test just as you've been doing hypothesis tests. You're going to come up with a p-value and then you're going to make your decision. Now notice the second one here. It says, is the square footage for your region different than? That right there tells you your alternative is not equal and this is the two-tailed test. So the two-tailed test, you're going to go through and this, remember, you are testing on the 1944 square footage and you're going to go through all the different steps for the hypothesis once again. The only difference here, and of course this being a two-tailed test, is in this case you are also going to do a confidence interval. So remember when you do this confidence interval that you're going to have, I mean for both of these tests I, I hope that it is clear that you are going to need for both of these you're going to need your sample data. Okay, well, what do you need for sample data? Well, if you're looking at comparing an average, I think for both of these, you're gonna to have to find your sample mean. 
You're going to have to find your sample standard deviation and all of this stuff we have done in Excel. And then, of course, both of them, your sample sizes should be 100. And so once you get that information, you can actually perform your test and go through. And then don't forget to conclude, what did you find out? Did you find out that your region on average was higher than the market? Did you find out um, there was a big difference between square footage and then setting up your hypothesis test? I mean, I'm sorry, your confidence at our interval.